Okay, I'm reviewing Friday the 13th, the original. I know I reviewed this one, but I am. Um, this. Yeah, I'm reviewing the original Halloween again in the same video. Which is better, the Halloween or Friday 13? It is Halloween. The original one. Versus the original Friday 13, but also the theatrical versions of them and stuff. Well, there's a killer cut version of Friday 13, which I will review somewhere down the line. Working on it is well, how I gain healthy again mentally. Um, but, um, so, what these two have in common is that their pace really slow with very little story. Like the story can be say about in the, about both films in a minute. And that's what I'm gonna do. Which one should I do first? Should I do um one's more complex and you wouldn't be surprised that the more complex one is Friday the 13th, and the one that's more straightforward is Halloween. However, the main focus until you get to the halfway point of the film is this teenagers being jackasses. Spoiler! Someone's in the camp killing off teenager, the teenagers who work for the camp one by one, one by one, one by one. As we leave, the oldest says there's this old lady who is this mother of this child who went to camp and his name was Jason. And today, this day, is his birthday and she decides to avenge her baby boy that couldn't swim, was un wasn't being supervised at all by any adults. One of which adults, the ones who have been following along for the free act structure, who have been disappearing, getting murdered off one by one. So, in other words, they kind of had it coming, and I'm kind of rooting for the mother. Okay, <laughs> I'm sorry, but I'm sorry, but uh, these people, unlike later, later Friday Thirteenth sort of movies, including the worst one, J Jason Goes to Hell gives you reasons to sympathize and root for these characters. What have these characters do? Oh, they have gone wasted. They have gone in high. They have gone in sex. That's all. Oh, and now they're swimming and going, going skin, going in their bathing suits as in naked. And that's all. That's pretty much all they do. Then one night something goes wrong. As there's a kill arm on the campus, and as Jason's mother, and these thing is, I wanted these people to die. That's why I wasn't as scared as I was with the pre fast Lado installments because. Even Jason goes to hell where I was scared for the uh, people who weren't going to suffer the wrath of Jason. And I'm just going to say, I think Jason's much more interesting character than his mother. And neither of them are pure evil, they just want revenge. Well, actually, the... I guess the mother's kind is the one that's want revenge, she's, and you can look at it this way, the mother is even the villain and the sequel because she's basically manipulating Jason into killing people from beyond the grave with her spirit because he talks to her spirit. So, uh, Jason dies, and then, uh, Next she, uh, the, the, she kills the uh, old lady, Jason's mom, then she's in the hospital, and she wakes up on a boat after waking up in a hospital and seeing Jason pop out of the wall, child Jason, not full-grown Jason. And then uh, she wakes up on the boat again. It's next morning. 
she tells her side story and uh, they look at her like she's crazy. So they're more or less, so basically, you know, when you go through hell, nobody believes you. And, uh, yeah, so it's, yeah, this is, you know the ending? The ending is, has, feels like it has several multiple endings just when you think it's the end. So that's why giving the points, so that's what, what makes uh, Halloween another, what, what gives the Halloween movie the strength, the original John Carpenter's, uh, the original uh, John Carpenter's Halloween uh, movie is, is what, it's really a, a strength because those, it just ends, doesn't give you several endings, unlike the third Lord of the Rings film. That's another movie that had, that's a flaw in that. That's a flaw, I like that movie. On all, it's actually my favorite Lord of the Rings film, but it, well, I didn't care for it as several endings, you know? And I'm going to talk about that film that some other time. So, now it's time to talk about, uh, okay. Now it's time to talk about the man, Michael Myers. So, Michael Myers killed his parents and, and his Assumably his little sister on uh, Halloween night. And then since then he's been locked in an incident mental institution. And uh, he breaks free when he has a grown adult after the bus broke break, breaks after a bus broke down he uh, breaks free. And he uh, Gets run over, he uh, breaks free uh, from the mental institution, and us uh, a little after the uh, bus broke down, uh, he just comes out of nowhere, and you see him without his mask, his iconic mask that looks like William Shatner, if he was a ghost. And um, he goes to uh, this, the Myers house in Stocks. Uh, well, I guess it was his old house, but someone else is living there. Anyway, he this stalks the neighborhood, but for some reason he's stalking this one girl, and I don't know. He gets his iconic mask, and he just stalks this girl, and he doesn't, and and, and creeps her out. And, uh, kills pretty much all of her friends and leaves her, kills her last <laughs> on Halloween night. He waits till Halloween night to kill. For some reason, I don't know. Not explain. And then this doctor who. Tries to shoot Myers and uh, doesn't work. And then, uh, no, it yeah, it does. It what it works in this is they're in this building, and Myers is about to kill. And um, my, Michael gets shot. Assume he assume he die. He's assume he dies. Or is this wounded? We don't know. And she delivers this uh, car line, uh, female protagonist. So, uh, well, her main protagonist is Michael Myers because he's gets the most developed, I'd like say. While the main female threats has mostly been, been, you know, your generic um, teenager in horror films. She does, I will say, has character traits, uh, but they're not get fleshed out or explored. Uh, she's she's hinted at being awkward and shy, and an in a, in uh, conversations or to into people, but it's not really that explored as you would like to be. So, even though, and she's, at the end, she delivers this call out, call line, and asks the doctor who was, who, uh, used to, well, treat Michael at the institution, ask if that was the boogeyman. 
and he goes like, I do believe that was, and it just ends on this iconic, the iconic note. And, um... <sighs> And yeah. So, most of these films have serious, serious problems. Not as complex or as scary as you as you see potential. But I think where we have, where it be, and it has more problems than I mentioned. Like, uh, I could say uh, the ending could have been better for both of them. But I think what really redeemed both of these. It's not an awful ending that it's not edited great, okay? Not one of these films. But what really uh, uh, invests me into this film is the slow, slow pacing for both of them. The slow burn pacing, like uh, Walking Phoenix Joker or 2001 Space Odyssey or Clockwork Orange. Uh, both have different styles and tones, but they never mimic each other. And, and except for the, not even with the pacing, one pa the pacing's toned a diff. One's more. The pacing is the is in the scary tone, and uh, so. What I'm trying to say is, uh, the pacing for most of these movies, uh, I noticed that the uh, pacing in, uh, one's more subtle than others when it comes to the scares, uh, the most subtle and it would have to be the most subtle ones for the scares goes to Friday 13th the original, and the more shock scare, the more Shock in the uh, well, Halloween the original Halloween has more of a shock value of scares. They're not annoying; they are effective, but they're shock scares are still shock scares. As long as you execute them right, right, and the all of these films execute all of their scares and execute their stories and uh, characters as well. I always thought the main protagonist was none of the campers, but was Michael Myers' mother because she gets the most developed in the entire three-act structure. But that's me. While the rest of, while the rest of them are just uh, victims. And because we know nothing personal about the other characters in Friday the the original, so they're just there, like, cones, like, on a road track. Like, you just need to avoid to it and avoid what they're going through, you know that? But you don't relate to them, you know? <laughs> you, the, so it's not really, it's, you're not really, you, you kind of know that something's shady about their characters, and Turns out they're responsible for killing an innocent child, or letting an innocent child drown to death. So, um, they kind of had it coming. So, I say the least scary Friday 13 is the original, even though the worst one is Jason Goes to Hell, in my opinion. Uh, and I hate Jason Goes to Hell, and, uh, but it has good scares, I would say. Uh, better scares than this one did. Because it has a protagonist who you understand, who is a father. And he gets developed throughout the free act structure and learns not to be a wimp. And holds his ground against Jason Goes to Hell with Jason, and, uh, I feel like that that Jason Goes to Hell could have been a phenomenal movie if it was just paced well, or if it was, or if it was played like if it was one of those films that wanted to. I feel like it shouldn't have been played straight. I think it, it should have been a straight up horror comedy paced well, and I don't think the pacing is bad at all in Jason Goes to Hell. 
I honestly think this fairly well. I mean, I think that this should have made it a hard comedy, a straight up horror comedy with a serious comedic tone than what we used to seeing to Friday Thirteen movies, and I think. Maybe that's what they were going for. I'm guessing they might have gone for that, but the studios didn't want them to do that because studios, the house always has, always wins, I guess. And that's the studio, so, uh, yeah. And anyway, so my thoughts on, I give Halloween, the original John Carpenter one, a uh, 10 out of 10, and Friday the 13th, the original one, even though I think it's the least scariest one, it's not a bad movie, it's still a solid movie, I give it a 10 out of 10, like I, uh, like, uh, like, uh, mo like, uh, most Friday the 13th films, and same goes for Halloween franchise. It's weird because when you say about Halloween franchise had a better start, but uh, overall it wasn't as good as the Friday Thirteenth franchise because it felt like it wanted to stay in that little comfort zone and but didn't want to expand on the uh, imagination. Then uh, and and uh, it in some ways it did, but it for some ways I feel like uh. No, that's not it, is it? Personally, I think, it, I think what, the only thing, what, uh, the only sin that that franchise created was, which was not a bad movie, just a mediocre film at best, which was Halloween H2O. Which I think is the worst Halloween film of all time. It's not a bad movie. It's just not a great film, and I'm, it's if for one I remember anyway. Actually, I think I like the Halloween franchise as much as the uh, Jason franchise, the Friday Thirteen franchise as much. <sighs> I like how they experiment with the whole world, and well, I think that there's things that they couldn't have handled better, and probably some things they shouldn't have done. And, uh, well, I don't know, you know, maybe some things they shouldn't have done, most franchise, but they did it better than most, fr the most franchise, Halloween franchise, and Friday 13 franchise. Did a lot better than uh, a lot of all the horror franchise that I've seen. So I wouldn't say neither of them are the worst horror franchise. I think they're one of the better horror franchises. Like uh, the Chucky franchise. <sighs> Wait, I was thinking of... Hmm. Wait a minute. I'm recording. Why not review something also? I'm reviewing Child's Play 3. The superior sequel to Child's Play 2. I think uh, Child's Play 2 is... Not the... It's like... It was kind of stupid. And, like, they the wanted Andy to get over his PTSD... So they decide to get him a welcome present. Uh, good guy doll that looks just like Chucky. What a stupid thing. Anyway, Andy's like now 16 now in this, in this, in this, uh, world played by a different actor, it looks like. And now, and, uh, his mother is still in a mental institution. Running away in the mental institution. Because she decided to tell the truth. And Angie's now at boob camp at the age sixteen. I think it's civilian boot camp. Got sent there. Uh
and was shot. People, they had the people who who uh who uh went there who uh, worked there uh, told Dick Andy and uh don't believe his, what happened to him was real and they just mock him and uh uh this basically just dicks and Chucky's back he kills the president of Child's Play Company the CEO in fashion <laughs> He takes his time because he just wants to toy with him. <laughs> then he kills him. And Chucky's hunt is hunting Andy. Then he uh runs into this little five year old. Uh, looks like around five or eight eight years old kid. It basically looks like the age Andy once was, but not anymore. So he decides to reveal his real name, Charles Lee Ray, and put his plan to and plan to put his soul in that body instead of Andy because it's it's younger and lasts longer. <laughs> because he 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 puts women. I have a younger kid right in front of me. I got a new body. Why the hell not? <laughs> he thinks to himself. So what is it? So instead. Of, uh, then the kid gets caught playing with the, uh, doll. And, uh, the, uh, the, uh, barber who cuts hair at, and to make his show his military fashion, he decides to play with Chucky doll. And he decides to shave, he decides to shave his head big so he's military fit. And, uh, <laughs> And he heard uh, that he heard uh, he like heard it like him as saying "I'll oh, press all your balls." And uh, Chucky uh, literally screws with him, only to kill him and slit his throat, his his throat with the uh, razor. And he says, and he delivers the sign, "Presto, you're dead." <laughs> it was so funny how he delivers that line. Um. Let's say, uh, uh, this, what's his name, uh, Anyway, the same guy has replies Chucky, replies his voice Chucky, and instead of having, and they give him more screen time, and he is absolutely a right. <laughs> See, uh, now nah, the uh, and the kid, and uh, so um, however, he still made his one, one, one serious flaw. And his plan, he decides to tell Andy his plan. That's now sixteen year old, and Andy tries to warn the kid about don't trust Chucky, but he doesn't listen until it's too late. And Chucky says, "You got me all figured out. I'm just using you." <laughs> so he runs for his life. The kid at the in the third after uh, Chucky. Switches the uh, paint bullets, the paintball guns, and uses and uh, switches it with real bullets. And Andy figures out what's going on. Holy shit! They really, we actually really, the, and tries to one eye way to stop shooting, stop shooting, but they won't listen. So until uh, still until it's too late. So. Yeah, and uh, Andy falls in love with this girl that is, uh, um, he falls in love with has a uh, falls for this girl, and 
and this girl uh, helps Andy in the track to save the kid, and uh, she's shocked that the that uh, Andy's not actually crazy, uh, that the doll can actually talk, that the well, that the whole Andy story did actually. I mean, it's the same as the doll that uh, well, this black kid has been carrying around, and I the, I got a question: Why did through most of the chunk of the film? Um, the black he lets the black kid carry him around like a doll and pretends to be a friend. Guess maybe he's earning his trust or something. But um, I don't know. It just seems kind of like I feel like he didn't sort this plan through. Anyway, so Chucky ends up dying by the by by the hands of by the hand help with teamwork. And guess, um, gets, uh, lit on fire and loses all his body parts, uh, separated, and he, it's just mush. Anyway, I give this a 10 out of 10. I really enjoy it. Why I give the first one a 10 out of 10, and I give the sequel, Child's Play 2, a 9 out of 10 because. It wasn't as I didn't. It wasn't as funny or as scary or as charming was as as baseball. This was a much better put together film. Charles Play Three. I felt like.